The spikes here are actually quite pronounced. It's one of the reasons why the species is so desired um, overseas for its appearance. And also the reason why it gets the name Order Sea Cucumber. The sea cucumber fishery is a really unique fishery for California. We work with the fishermen, the nonprofit community, the philanthropic community, agency partners, the academic community, all working together to get information about the fishery. Fishermen are a critical role in everything we do. They're the eyes and ears on the water. Um, we work to make sure the science also works with the fishermen and doesn't impact their ability to make a living from the resource. Years ago, uh, fishermen uh, had kind of a contentious relationship with fish and game. But nowadays that's changed uh, tremendously. Carlos came on the scene a few years ago. He came on uh, with enthusiasm and that's good to see that, you know, that some attention was being uh, given to this fishery. The Warty Sea Cucumber Dive Fishery started off of Catalina Island in the 1980s and it was really of minor commercial importance until about 2010 when the fishery really took off. And this was all driven by increases in demand, um, primarily from Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Korea. Around 2011, the sea cucumber market really started to increase. It seemed like every week there's like a new buyer. And then around 2014, 2015, we were starting to see some signs of overfishing. Fishing game really got serious about looking at our fishery and saying, you know, why is this happening? Why are the landings going down? And that's when the discussion began. Does something need to be done about the sea cucumber resource? We have many concerns over the health of, of the Warty Sea Cucumber dive fishery right now. It is showing the same trajectory as many of many of the fisheries around the world that have resulted in basically serial depletion. It can no longer support a sustainable fishery. We use scuba-based surveys to monitor the populations of warty sea cucumber um, on a seasonal basis, both inside and outside marine protected areas. Without MPAs, we wouldn't be able to determine these seasonal fluctuations. So they play an extremely valuable tool in our monitoring. Where our data sets and the the national parks data sets kind of merge and, and work together is the fact that we have a very long-term um, idea of the trends of, of warty sea cucumber around basically the heart of the fishery. We were seeing changes in populations over time and the fishermen were telling us that well the sea cucumbers move and well the fishermen were right but we didn't know where they were going. That's where Mari comes in, is Mari typically does ROV work below where fishermen are diving and below where biologists are, are collecting data for research. Having multiple data sets gives you a much more comprehensive picture of what's happening, and it also can reaffirm each data set. So when Mari comes in with our robotic technology and is able to collect data a little bit deeper, we can reaffirm what the divers are seeing or say, you know, something's off here. Without data, we would not have really justification for um, enacting uh, measures for this fishery. You know, the stakeholders rely on this resource to make a living. This type of research and monitoring is extremely important to the public. Their research is for people to go to the park and enjoy just the view, but they're also important for Fish and Wildlife to manage the fisheries in the state of California so we have sustainable fisheries. This project has been a great example of what a collaborative project can look like, and we're really excited about how the department was able to bring together all of these players to create a project that's very effective in terms of managing our resources. Now it's great that uh, they're collecting data, we're assisting them with that, and I don't mind telling them where I'm fishing or how much I'm getting. I think sometime down the line, uh, someone will benefit. 
I would like to have a small part in bringing together my fellow cucumber fishermen to forge this productive relationship to eventually create a fishery that's sustainable and profitable in the long term. This is a species that is extremely unique and we do not have a lot of information for it. So working together is gonna, gonna be absolutely essential um, to the future management of this fishery. Finding that balance between conservation and sustainable use is one of the most challenging things we do at the department. Hopefully this fishery will be around for a very long time and this research is the first step in ensuring a long-term sustainable fishery.